So for my regular followers, this video is going to be a little bit redundant, but I wanted to make a dedicated video on this issue. And uh, this is the Super Micro H12 SSL I board. Don't mind it being upside down. And you'll notice it's a Rev 1.01. .01. So this is an early board of this model. Um, whoa, let's not do that. And this board was extremely slow to post and I had no video output on the VGA and the fan was running at max speed the whole time and it was trying to post and after post. I did not realize what was wrong with it until some other people helped me with some really informative and useful information which I will be linking the sources in the description. And what's happened is the BMC is dead. So the motherboard is trying to wait for the BMC to power up and do its thing. And that's causing posts to go for longer than normal. And then eventually it just gives up on BMC and posts without it. But without BMC functioning properly, you're not going to get things like your VGA output or your fan speed control. And there's a couple different reasons why the BMC can fail. These little VRMs, the little shiny bits right in front of my finger, there's three of them. Those can fail. They're sensitive to heat, I guess. More sensitive to heat than uh, normal stuff that they would use. Also, in my case, there's physical damage to the PCB. So, I'm going to go into the realm of digital zoom. Woo! And you're not going to be able to tell very easily, but there's some lettering that's supposed to be there for marking the components. And uh, I believe those are resistors. Uh, it, should, it should say R something or other there. And you can't really tell in the video, but uh, the solar mask above some of these traces has gotten scraped and the running theory is that's because it's in such close proximity let's zoom a little bit out here to the PCI slots and someone was being careless and they scraped the board um, so basically one thing you can do is check for voltage if I did my job correctly, I will overlay an image over the screen of pinouts that I got from the Serve the Home forums. And uh, basically what you have to do, I'm going to rotate the board here, is with the computer powered off, but the power supply on, so it's in standby, you want to pick a ground point, which... Um, you can either poke your meter uh, with one of the screws or you can poke your meter on the uh, whoops, housings of the ports. Those are usually ground. And then on the other end, with the positive side of your probe, you want to poke at each one of these inductors very carefully. They're really tiny. Um, so L6, L7, and L8, the little black things with the, with the little dot on them. And you want to check for voltages. And, um, should have wrote the voltages down. I think it was, uh, I'm just going to grab the image. Alright, so the top one on the right side of the inductor should be at 1.15 volts. The middle one, 1 1.2. And the bottom one, 2.5. If you're missing any voltages from those or they're too far off, then your BMC chip's not going to boot. But, uh, yeah, so if something has happened, whether it be damage or failed parts, that is why your system is extremely slow to post. You don't have VGA output and you don't have uh, fan speed control. On top of that, your BIOS will say, um, let me find the error message. Alright, your BIOS 
It'll say BMC firmware revision is unknown and IPMI status is not working. And that's another sign that something's horribly wrong. There's an LED by the BMC that if your BMC is working or doing anything, oh, there it is. So, right next to the flash chip, right there. If, if you don't get any light from that LED, then there's also a good chance that your BMC is not working. So, I think that covers everything that you would need to know on what's going on. My understanding is you want revision 1.1, uh, which solves these issues. It puts the VRMs and stuff on the bottom side of the board for the BMC, which would be somewhere around here, basically. But uh, otherwise, um, I would just ask to see if you can get like a picture of the BMC version from BIOS from the seller. That'd be the best way to verify that that function of the board hasn't died. Also, I'm told that in some cases, if you ask super micro nicely and make it quite clear that you're willing to pay the money, that they will fix that for you. Otherwise, you might want to look into some sort of uh, mail-in board repair company that does custom work like this to replace those VRMs and repair any damage to the PCB if some has happened. And if your board is currently working, you may want to put some captain tape over these traces along the edge just to protect them. I wouldn't recommend taping over these components because you don't want to trap the heat inside of them. But uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful and thanks for watching.